What's up, board game people? I wanted to get a quick news flash out for the upcoming Elden Ring board game from Steamforge Games because they just dropped a massive pre-campaign update with plenty of information to help you plan out your pledge and to give you a closer look at some of the pieces of the game. I make these news flashes to get information out there faster and in smaller bites than my usual videos. Enjoy. Before I start, I get no money from board game companies for making my videos. So we got a teaser trailer, we got some amazing dev diaries touching on a few of the various subjects of the game, but now we're really getting to see what the game might look like laid out on a table, and we're getting down to brass tacks with prices. For me, I see it as a wonderful opportunity to plan and perhaps even limit myself when diving into the campaign, so I wanted to give you all the same chance. The render at the top of the update shows the entry-level pledge laid out in a mock play session. We get a good look at how the exploration map is laid out. The tiles have all kinds of symbols demarking all kinds of encounters and discoverables. We can also see that the quest or scenario book seems to lay flat to become a battle board for different encounters you may come across. The entry box is looking pretty beefy, and it's going to be with four beefy ring-bound scenario books. The entry pledge allows you to explore the Weeping Peninsula with a 20-plus hour replayable campaign. The entry level pledge will run just $89. This is a deck building game at its heart, and that means we have cards, and they've been generous with them. The core comes with over 500 cards. Backing that up is more than 100 tokens and 20 miniatures. You'll get four tarnished in the core, and they each come with their own dashboards. Capping it all off, you'll get 30 modular hex tiles to build that exploration map from. From there, we venture out further, into the lands between, to the realm of the Grafted King. We get the Core Pledge at $179 with 54 miniatures, over 1,200 cards, and more than 60 tiles, and an Iron Fist Alexander exclusive miniature. And you also get the daily unlocks that combine into an entire expansion, covering the lands of Limgrave. After the Core, there's a huge leap to the All-In Pledge, that has an absolutely ridiculous amount of content and some of the biggest miniatures Steamforged has ever made. For $429, you're getting everything, including the Realm of the Grafted King, the Weeping Peninsula, the Stormvale Castle expansion that can also function as a standalone adventure, the Entry Avatar, and the Flying Dragon Aguil expansions, and the Daily Reveals expansion. This pledge includes 104 miniatures, over 2,500 cards, over 150 modular tiles, 12 beefy scenario books, 12 tarnished and dashboards, and the Iron Fist Alexander exclusive. There's a mountain of content here that combines into well over 90 hours of play. And to think, this is only the beginning. Elden Ring seems to be a long play for Steamforged, and they plan to release new content, new areas, and new adventures for years to come. All pledges at any level will come in collector's edition boxes with gold foil and gloss varnish finish. I will of course have a campaign guide out as soon as possible following the launch of the project to look at everything in detail and offer a few thoughts, but I wanted to get this out there as a bit of a primer to help everyone plan and perhaps give a little more context and information. If you know something about the game I don't, please make sure and let me know in the comments. This looks to be an exciting campaign, and I'm extremely excited for launch day. I'll be back shortly with another campaign guide for an awesome project that launched this week, and even more videos are coming. Please consider subscribing to help us grow and reach more gamers like you. Thanks to everyone watching and commenting. Stay warm and play something epic tonight.